Good morning guys and welcome back to the channel uh, sorry for squinting so much the sun is in my eyes so today we've got a special special treat for you the wife has been playing car mechanic simulator 2019 and she thinks she knows everything now so her car started acting up a little bit there's a bit of a noise on the left hand side I suspect the water pump is going and she said she's going to change the water pump and the cam belt today. So let's see if she can do it. Hi guys, subscribe to my channel now so that you do not forget. Hit that bell icon and get notified of my further uploads. Lastly, feel free to comment. Show me some love by giving me a thumbs up at the end of the video. There she is in a little overall and Jean ready to do the job <laughs> so we've got our tools we've got the stand we've got the wheel jack and spanner and here we have the pots she bought a new fan belt because she doesn't trust the fan belt that's on her car it is a bit old we've got the cam belt the tensioner and we've got uh, the water pump so we'll see if she's gonna take off the wheel by herself if she's first gonna watch one of my trusty videos on how to remove a wheel before she complete uh, continues so uh, I think I'll go and fetch the laptop so long for backup uh, let's just see if the placement is correct going down to check out yeah okay it's in the right place <laughs> oh well before you start lifting it baby don't you think it will be a good idea to start loosening the bolts first <laughs> because once it's in the air the wheel will turn around and around if you try and loosen it you know so it's, <laughs> you know, it's just an idea okay another tip for you take a big screwdriver it's in the box and then uh, you take it and then you take off the cover the wheel cap it. there we go <laughs> mechanics don't get aggro so yeah this is authentic boys and girls it's authentic we broke ground today boys and girls this is the first first one is loose after bitching and moaning so much <laughs> there we go. I've got size on my side, Shawl. You got what? I've got size on my side. Size or weight? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to take your ass, baby. I just want to take the geo, take it off. Like Ginger Billy says, we like f thick chicks. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, look at those hands getting nice and dirty. We have to get get in there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Shut up. This is a momentous occasion, man. Ah, drop it down 90 degrees. Ah, so make it easier for yourself, otherwise you're going to slip and fall. You're not even wearing shoes. She's not wearing safety boots, huh? They say take safety Sticky home. Fuck you. Oh, there you go. I have to send this to a safety officer. Tell them safety first. Fuck you. Okay, there we go. So you've got one bolt in. So leave it like it is now. Now jack up your wheel. Why don't you bite? Mm. Remember never to take out all the bolts while the car is standing on the wheel because you have all this weight on your wheel. And if it shoots out, it's going to be nice and cuck. I ah, see. See. That's why I said, jack up, jack it up, jack it up, jack it up. Jack it up. Be glad you had the jack in place. So now you learn the lesson. Never take out all the bolts at once. Loosen them, but keep them in place. And then you jack up the car. Well, you had the video if you wanted to check it out, you know. Turn, 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 come. Mm. 
Go, go, go. Don't worry about the wheel. The wheel's out. Okay. Take your stand and see if it's going to fit already at the front of the jack. Yeah, sure. Okay, then keep on lifting. Okay. Okay, now that the jack is in place, lower the jack a little bit until the car is firmly on the stand, but don't take the jack out. It's better to have two things holding the car up instead of one. If the one fails, which is normally the jack, the stand will catch it. So keep the weight. As I keep the weight on the on the stand, and there we go. The only reason why we took off the wheel is that we have access to this bolt where your flywheel is going on. And then there's your, you see how thin your V-belt is? The one you bought is too thick, it's not the right one. So you're going to have to maybe take that one back later. Remove the air filter box. You loosen those two, take the box off. The box is already loose so it's easy. Then you have to drain the radiator water because when you take off the water pump all that water is going to come pissing out so you might as well drain it now. So there you have it. The difference between a, a novice and a professional novice doesn't go around the pipe. Professional goes between the pipes. Okay, oh your God. next mission will be to take off the alternator belt. So, come check here. Come check here. You're gonna do the wrong shit. Now leave the sockets, come check here what you must do. This is your next one. You have to take this bolt that way. No, but it's a socket shot. To loosen that. I'll show you now. <laughs> I, I have to record that. What did she do? <laughs> show me again. <laughs> okay, she's got the spark plug socket here. She's going to take out the spark plug. Okay. Listen to me now. You have to release the alternator to get this belt off. Once this belt is off, I'm going to take off. And then the we're going to... No, no. Once this belt is off, we're going to first... Take off the top of this cover. We're going to set it on the right timing. And then we're going to lock the system by putting it in fifth gear. And then we're going to take that flywheel off. That's your next mission.
Tek of jy bel. Ek denk dit is die volgende ding afgekry dat hy skiet. Jy kan duidelik sien, dit is een volgende vrou mens die vol kak. Okay guys, now as you can see, the fan belt that they gave us is totally the wrong thing. This is more for Corsa Bucky, not for old Corsa Light, so we're going to have to take this belt later on as a sample and get the correct alternator belt. So our next step would be just to put the car on its timing marks. Now timing works like this, you've got the notch on top and yeah, you've got another color yeah but also there's a, a pin on the tip of your gear and there's another one okay so what you do now is you're going to take uh, that size uh, socket for the bottom one you're going to turn it so that this notch is right at the top of this notch and then we're not going to touch it again it's going to stay where it is it's just to give you a landmark so that if you accidentally move something when putting the cam belt back that you um, don't lose your timing. Our, our next mission is to take off the tensioner so we're gonna loosen that bolt take the tensioner off and then we're just gonna um, take off the timing gear and slip off the belt and then we'll do the water pump after the belt is off the belt still looks good but you know if you take off a wheel or the water pump you might as well change the belt they go hand in hand and if you do that, you need to do the tensioner as well. Okay, the next step will be to remove the water pump. So you have to get Allen key and remove the three Allen key bolts that's holding the water pump in place. Also, also be careful that when you take the pump out, there's going to be a lot of water that's going to come out of the engine, which might be hot. Yay, see, tricks of the trade. Fill me up with your smile. Now the sunshine brings the light. Fill me up with a flame. I will let you in this game. So how does this compare to Car Mechanic Simulator, baby? Bye, sir. Car Mechanic Simulator is donner click and now off. This fucking action. So the point and click and this is manual. Oh, this is
Okay guys, here's the old pump. As you can see it's really loose. And here's the new pump. Nice, nice, nice. So the new pump, old pump. Now before we install the new pump, we have to make sure that the place where it mounts into the engine is nice and clean and that there's no silicone or gaskets um, left behind. Then we'll put a, a thin layer of sealant here around and then we'll tighten it back up. Okay guys, so here's the new water pump. Um, we cleaned we cleaned in there where the hole is where the seat is so it's been cleaned. Sorry you can't really focus. We've cleaned there so now we're gonna put a little bit of sealant on here just to make sure that the o-ring doesn't move and we're gonna put the uh, water pump back we're gonna put the tensioner back the cam belt back and then we're just gonna make sure that the timing marks is exactly where it's supposed to be we didn't move the cam so uh, the timing shouldn't be a problem at all so uh, we'll come back once everything is on Appy is struggling, she's going on the wrong way. Come Appy! And she asked me why do you guys not find the holes easy enough? But they struggle to find the hole themselves. Come Appy! Come my Appy! Okay, so the timing belt is on, the tensioner is on, I just helped her with the timing belt because the tensioner is a bit tight. So now she has to figure out how to put the covers back. So we're going to put the covers back, we're going to put that old fan belt back because we have to start the car and test it. And then we'll, we'll get a replacement fan belt for uh, tomorrow, day after that and we'll fix that. So I'm just going to connect this pipe again. Steep. full water in the car while she puts up the side covers and then we'll put up the fan belt and the air intake and then we'll start the car Okay, there we go guys, air filter system is back, the covers is back, the fan belt is on, we'll just buy a new one to replace later on, uh, the pipes are back, we're going to fill up with coolant now, and then, look at her face, she worked for a change, <laughs> okay let's fill up the water and then we test the car and test if we see if it's fine before we put up the wheel. So there we have it. It's only making a bit of noise because of that. Uh, yeah, there's one bolt missing on the cover, so the pulley is rubbing against the plastic, but it will eventually go away. <laughs> so there we go. Okay, so it's turning fine there. There's no water coming out from the water pump side, so there's nothing leaking. Coolant is in, pipes are fine, fan belt is fine, it's just scratching a bit on that cover, that's because there's a bolt missing, so uh, you can see there, it's 
touching there, but uh, that's the only thing that's happening there. Okay, so let's just attempting to put the wheel back. Line up the holes, baby. Everything is holes, baby. And there we have it guys, well, the cold water pump has been changed, Celeste did all the work, I'm proud of you baby, love you. If you guys like this video, please remember to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel if you want to see more crazy shit like this, and don't forget to comment. See you on the next one, cheers.